just like that. You see, the, the American government was really good at what they did. You know, we had seven ceremonies came with our sacred pipe. And, you know, we had the keeping of the soul, releasing of the soul, which the, the, the Christianity, the religious organizations didn't believe that. But we still do it. Then we had the purification ceremony, we had the on blood therapy, we had the sun dance, so we weren't watching. And then we had this Ishnanti Awechilo, which they kind of discouraged it amongst the natives because it's the voice of the woman. We helped the little girls, the, the women helped the, the old elderly women helped the young girls to understand their wisdom, their knowledge, and how to be good mothers, homemakers, and all this. And that, that, that kind of helped them not to become illegitimate mothers and all this. And they, they, they kind of really discouraged that ceremony because they wanted the Lakota or the native men to treat the women like they do. Treat them as second class or lower than the dog citizens, you know. So we need to bring that ceremony back into our consciousness of our future generations that our women should be held in utmost respect. And then the seventh ceremony was a Tchapa Muntaya. That was a, a ceremony where you had the four cardinal directions a person stood, usually as children. And you had a big ball of sage that was made like a, like a size of a softball. And you have one guy in the center, a pure woman in the center. And everything we do, ceremonies, anything, has a song with it. And they sing these songs and they throw this ball to all four cardinal directions. And that represents the spirit is everywhere. The spirit's in here with us right now. I mean, I always felt the presence of my spirits with me. They stand behind me, they stand behind me. And if I'm not doing that, I get poked in the head, you know. They say, they're going off track, so I have to. And, and if it's not them, it's her, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know, but that that ceremony was 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 put aside too because of the American political system of separation of church and state thing, you know. Well, our Lakota people, we live a spiritual way of life, so. And then also, the Americans took that ceremony and made baseball out of it. They had home plate, curse, and the third base, and the pitcher, and then, you know, who threw that ball. Yeah, that's, that's, that was, and they made a game out of it, actually, but it was, it was really a ceremony that represented that the spirit is everywhere. That we, we lived a spiritual way of life. That we lived in the realm of the spirits. When you're, when you're, when you're born here, you see four faces. Four is a sacred number to our people. You see the face of the child, the face of the adolescent, the face of the adult, the face of the age. And then you finish your journey. What you have accomplished here, you know, is, is, is what you, somebody pats you on the back if you leave the spirit world. I mean, if you leave his body and go back to the spirit world, the body goes back to Mother Earth to nourish new life. You know, there's always a story that, that an elder told me one time, it always stays with me. You know, it made me understand a lot of things. He says, you know, he said, uh, in a Lakota way of life, he said, we have nothing square. He said, everything is round, curved. He said, he says, if you look at our teepees, the base of the teepee is round, the doorway is round, the earth is round. We're round and it's curved. The trees have round stuff. Everything has a round or curve to it. There's no square on there. He says, well, when the, when the white man came here, he said he brought a square with him. He says, he built his towns on the town square. All his buildings are square. His windows are square. His doorways are square. He says, they even have a square dance. <laughs> And he said, he even goes further, he says, when, when our people make, uh, the, the spirit makes the journey back to the spirit world, he says, we, we, 
wrap the body up in a, in a wet buffalo robe and tie it up, he says. And as the buffalo hide shrinks, it squeezes the, the body till it's all. And then he says, eventually the scaffold breaks, it falls to the ground, and all the nutrients in your body goes back into Mother Earth to nurture new life. He said, but the white man is stingy with that. He said, they have a square pool, he said, that they dig in the ground. And they put a square vault in there. And they have a coffin that's square. They put it inside of this vault and they cover it up. Give Mother Nature the hardest time to get to their nutrients. <laughs> so I said, you know, I mean, I, I thought about that. I said, you know, he really kind of made some sense to me there, you know, about the square and the circle thing. So, you know, we kind of basically have a lot of teachings to do the single family foundation. You know, I mean, there's, I have an enormous wealth of storytellers out there on the reservations that are not being taken care of. And I want to go in there and I want to bring them out. I want to bring them to my teepees and let them share the stories, you know, to those that want to learn. City Bowl Family Foundation is open to all. Anybody who comes with an open mind, open heart, they want to be part of creating a better environment for our future generations and be helping and be participating in this. And learn, the young people, learn how to balance the spirituality side and the practical side, to understand the compassion, the generosity, and how to deal with, with life out here. You know, because a lot of people out here, I see them, I mean, I was part of that workforce out here where you know when somebody needs help. And then you have, see, in, 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 in any environment in, in the American employment system, you have rules, regulations, guidelines, policies, everything is written down, man. You know, and, and if, if you're going to help somebody, you have to look at your rule book, you know, or your guideline book over here, or your, even, the, you know, the, each employer has a little constitution for their employees to follow, you know. So you can't help this guy, but you can help her, you know. But if she screws up, you can't help her, and you have to go help this guy then, you know. And, you know, it's just a, I mean, I never, I never really understood the, the, the ideology, you know, but <laughs> we, we, need, we need to re-educate our people. In